Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Okay, am I the only person who is obsessed with all of the amazing wood beads that Dollar Tree and Crafter Square seem to be rolling out month after month. The colors are amazing, the styles, the shapes, the sizes. I am ecstatic over all of the wood beads that you can now get at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And let me just say that they are not chintzy on the amount of beads that they put in their packs or on their wire rings. I have so many DIYs in store for you for today using the wood beads from Dollar Tree that everybody is buying that you should go out and buy so you can do today's DIYs. So guess what I'm gonna do? I am. I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some Dollar Tree wood bead DIYing, say that really fast, on a budget, because that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in being featured as a Crafter of the Day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you want to DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. For this first DIY, I dug into my stash of Crafter Square raw wood beads, picked out a couple strands and some pipe cleaner. Yep, I picked a pipe cleaner that somewhat matches my beads. So if it ends up showing, it's not gonna stand out too bad. I'm going to string these wood beads onto the pipe cleaner because this is going to give it some substance. It's going to make it a bit more sturdy than it would be. I show five, you need six, and you're also going to need some of these craft rings, the larger ones to be exact. I'm going to place my strands of pipe cleaner beads, yeah that's what I'll call it, onto my raw wood ring and I'm hot gluing them. This is where I thought I needed five, but I ended up needing a total of six. Ask me how many beads are on each of these. I don't know, I probably could count them right now, but I don't want to. It's really gonna be dependent on how large you want your flower petals to be. So you can add more, you can add less, but the key to this DIY is the pipe cleaner because it's gonna help those petals stay in place and stand up. Fun fact, fun hack. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue these around the ring. Now I'm not too worried about the pipe cleaner showing here because I'm gonna rustic this up a bit. Yeah, see look, there's five. We definitely needed six for this size ring. Yes, I am happy now. We've got a full flower. Now on the back side, I am going to go back and reinforce this with a bit of hot glue and I'm going to reinforce it where the beads actually touch the ring so they don't fall forward and that really does kind of do the trick. The center of this flower definitely needs to be filled in and to do that I'm going to use some Dollar Tree's decorative nautical rope. I'm not going to say that this is decorative or nautical because I use it in the rustic sense. So to fill in the center, I'm just gonna go ahead and wind this rope. You should have seen how many takes it just took me to figure out the word wine. I was drawing a blank. But yeah, I'm gonna wind this rope and it's gonna be large enough to fill in the center of this flower. And then let's go take a look at this. What's great about this DIY, not only is it quick, easy, and budget friendly, but the outcome is amazing and it's a versatile piece. So just by simply switching up the colors of the beads, how fun is this flower gonna be? If you don't want the rustic look, you can have a fun look and put several of these up on a wall and it would be so stinking cute. Dollar Tree has these wood shelf kits. You're getting two in a pack. They come in several different sizes. 
to this wood shelf, I did. I pulled out my Minwax in the color of Early American Stain. Can I just tell you that is the best color when you are going for that rustic feel. What's great about Minwax, Minwax has a ton of different shades. So if Early American isn't the one for you, you're guaranteed to find one that is. This shelf, it's gonna get some stain on the top and the bottom of the shelf because this is gonna be a finished piece. Yeah, I'm actually finishing both sides. Not something I always do, but for this project, I am. Because this is a shelf kit, these wood planks come with holes already in them. And again, because this is a rustic piece, I am doing away with the macrame string that came with the kit, and I'm replacing it with none other than my favorite thing in the world, twine. I'm gonna tie a couple of knots there just to really keep it from slipping through, I guess, the holes. And I'm gonna do that on all four points. You are going to wanna make sure that that twine is the same size on all four points. Once I've got the twine tied in there at the bottom, I am, I'm gonna go in with more of Crafter Square round beads, the raw wood beads. Now, again, this is a versatile piece. If you wanna paint the shelf and use different colored beads, you totally can and really change the feel of this because all of these DIYs are super versatile. The amount of beads that you use for your shelf is really gonna be dependent on how low you want your shelf to hang. I'm using one strand of the beads per point. So yeah, I bought four strands for this DIY. And look there, yeah, this is looking cool already. I am in fact at the top of these wood beads going to use the wood ring that came with the kit. If you're doing this outside of the kit and maybe you wanna use some of Dollar Tree's planks that come like in a six pack, you can totally do that. And you can get these rings and I wanna say the smaller ones come in a four pack. So I'm gonna take that twine and just wrap it around the top there and just like that, our rustic shelf is done. Let's go take a look at this. Mm-hmm. Pretty easy and what a fun outcome. This DIY, I think you're gonna love. I started off using yarn and a yarn needle because I found that when I am stringing these beads, it's a lot easier to use a yarn needle to string them than trying to get that twine or yarn through the hole of the bead. You know, you're, a lot of times it either unravels and it can just be a pain. So yeah, invest in a yarn needle. Dollar Tree has them by Crafter Square and look how quickly you can string your beads. Now, I later did change the yarn so you might just want to do what I did in the end and I'll show you what I did because why? Because this is rustic. So why was I using yarn instead of twine? Beats me, but really when I tell you that I did this with all of my beads and then had to restring them, no joke. So for this DIY, I'm using three different colored beads. Dollar Tree has these new dark walnut beads by Crafter Square. I am loving that Crafter Square is coming out with so many different colored beads. It is amazing and they're only $1.25 for 15. I used three on this first one. For this second one, I am going in with the raw round wood beads. Now, if you find these rings, pick them up because you're getting more beads on them than you are in the strand or the pack. And you can very easily, yep, open up this ring and take those beads off and you're getting a ton of beads. And so it really is just kind of repurposing stuff to get more for your money. So yeah, and again, I'm going to string these beads onto uh, what was my yarn, but later on will be the twine. And with this strand, I'm gonna do fewer on the strand than I did the walnut ones, and you'll see why. And again, this is going to be dependent on how big you want your piece to be, how many beads you wanna use, but for each strand in each different color, you're gonna do less of each color. And for some of you, you probably know where I'm going with this because you're going to layer them. So you can see here that each strand as you go in is going to have less beads. If you do all the strands with the same amount of beads, it's not gonna be layered. And so yeah, I just kind of laid it out and shaped it the way I feel it was gonna be shaped when it was hung up and added or took away. 
The last uh, strand is going to be these maple beads and they are square. I'm not worried about it. If they had round ones, I probably would have used them. But nonetheless, I feel like beads are beads and it's gonna add to the personality and the character of this DIY. Can I tell you, I love this color too. I love all the colors. And so yeah, this is going to be the smallest strand and so therefore it will have the least amount of beads. And I think for this strand I used two packs. In the second strand, I used two and a half. In the first strand of the walnut, I used a total of three. So down by five each strand. That would have been much easier to say, right? My word. Taking one of Dollar Tree's plungers, we just need the wood handle. So yep, this rubber part, yeah, we can just do away with this because we don't need it. I'm gonna use this as a dowel once I remove the sticker, which can I just tell you was really on there. Not even heat took it off. I had to use Goo Gone. Anyway, taking more of that early American stain, I'm gonna give this dowel a good coating of stain, because why not? Because this is, I, I wanna say it's a rustic DIY, but I don't feel like this turned out rustic. I feel like this turned out uh, I don't know, let me ponder that for a minute and I'll get back to you. Because I'm using this in the sense of a dowel, because why not? We're repurposing items at the Dollar Tree that are $1.25. I'm gonna start off with my largest strand of beads and work my way in and just wind that twine around the wood dowel. Now this is why I realized I needed to change out from the yarn to the twine because I was wrapping yarn around this and that is not very rustic. I don't know that this DIY really is rustic. I haven't come to the conclusion of what it is yet, but nonetheless, I did not like the yarn. So I, yeah, restrung, restrung, yes, all of the beads. So when I wrapped this dowel, it was then wrapped with twine. And this here is what you should be left with. Then I'm gonna go in with my next strand of beads and pretty much do the same thing for the next two colors. And just like that, we've got another quick, easy, budget-friendly DIY because sometimes less is more and simple is better. Let's go take a look at this. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Chris, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY US flag using mm -hmm, Dollar Tree's barbecue brushes. Chris, I love your recreation. Thank you so much for sharing it with us today. Here's a glimpse at our life with Winnie and Ibiza during the summertime. Some pool time fun with these two doodles. Boy, oh boy, can I just tell you, they love it when the pool cover comes off and they can go swimming. Now, some of you may ask, why does Abiza have a life jacket on? Well, that's because he is a moose and he did not learn how to swim using his back legs. And so upon doing some research, we found that by putting a life vest on him, it will teach him to use his back legs. Winnie is just an Olympic swimmer and she loves the pool and she took to swimming pretty quickly. Which DIY was your favorite? I'm gonna say that these DIYs kinda went on the bohemian side, but kind of not. I really liked these. Again, these are pieces that are going to Ray's house. Now that we have our own rooms, those rooms are not decorated, and so I thought that these pieces would be fun to add to those rooms, just so I'm not staring at gray walls and an air mattress. 
And so yeah, that's where these pieces went and I feel like I'm gonna work on Kayla's room next and then Allie's room with some of these DIYs and just make it a little bit more comfortable. So if we are spending more time at Ray's house because he has surgery or more infusions, it just makes it a bit more comfortable for us. If you're looking for more DIY inspiration, if you stayed tuned this long, guess what? You can click on a video right over here and it'll take you to one of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.